morning everybody and welcome to this short lecture i will say short because the subject is very vast this is more like an introductory lecture some of you may be already aware of many of the things for them maybe it is like refreshing so this is on bottling plant operations it's a very complex process as i mentioned somewhere uh let me brief you something about my background uh i got associated with lpg sometime in 1981 uh, when we started manufacturing uh, safety fittings for the pressure vessels or lpg storage tanks and then we went on increasing our uh, product range then little later stage i was involved in all kind of activities related to lpg like uh, storage plant design handling systems vaporizers pumps variety of uh, connectors safety fittings then i was associated with lpg bottling uh, say from 1992 onwards uh, had an opportunity to design a number of plants for all oil marketing government companies indian oil bharat petroleum hindustan petroleum and many uh, private marketers which had started coming in from around 93 94 which was permitted by the government till then uh, all the bottling was uh, done only by uh, oil marketing companies that means government companies these three majors and uh, demand went on increasing for the lpg fuel lpg cylinders so they decided to allow private companies to do the filling and market it under their brand names okay so from that point onwards a number of bottling plants went on increasing the demand for uh, technical persons having uh, what you can say the experience and knowledge of those things so i had the opportunity to work during those boom years i will say and the field went on increasing becoming more and more uh, i will say populated uh, when i present some of the figures you will know how big is this industry in india okay so that i will do at a little later stage uh, so let me start sharing my screen and then we'll start on the hardcore subject one by one i am going to talk about how and what the cylinder has to go through when it travels through the plant from entry to the exit what are the things that happen to it i am trying to explain that in brief each process is a specialization i will say and people working in the bottling plant for years are not in a position to see all the processes in detail because of certain restriction then their responsibility is the time available for that and all that so this may be a good opportunity for those people to probably closely understand what are those processes So welcome to this course this is an introductory course bottling plant operation sequence and machinery a number of operations are carried out and they have to be done in a particular sequence not any way where the machinery is free and available which is possible in many processes many images are taken from web website and all the data is taken so i am thankful to them i want to start with this photograph which is the bottling plant at leh ladakh uh, 12000 feet above the mean sea level and it is known as the bottling plant plant at highest level in the world lot of season i will say is surrounded by uh, ice because the temperatures vary right from minus 30 degrees to plus 25 degrees 
so this is indian oil plant and uh, a lot of good information is available about this i would request you to uh, see it on web page and see how interesting it is so we should be really speaking proud to have such a plant here and a company who is able to install and operate and meet the requirements of the defense there who are on the border and many of the villages so i want to start with some statistics uh, the data is available from this petroleum planning and analysis cell these two plus many other websites of theirs give lot of data uh, it can be even month wise data so if anybody is interested you can visit that so first and foremost important figure is this how many domestic connections are there in our country at the moment that means so many people are using lpg as fuel 300 million connections that means 300 million families now we are more familiar with the number in crores so 30 crore families are using lpg cylinder at the moment as fuel you can see how many zeros are there i can't count them to be more precise it is 324 million that means 32.4 crore people so you can imagine how many cylinders need to be filled every year and how many cylinders are there in india because they say normally for every live cylinder that means which is connected there are at least two to three cylinders somewhere in the pipeline either in transport and filling plant or uh, traveling somewhere here and there so this shows the vastness of our industry and it is also showing that how many good opportunities we have in this field opportunities for uh, job as well as opportunities for business what is the total consumption total consumption is about 30 million metric tons per year okay we will not be able to imagine how much it is because we must have seen tanks maybe at the most as horton sphere containing about 1500 tons so this is i don't know how many horton spheres will go but this is the consumption of the year ending 23 march that means again more than a year has passed it must have increased packed in cylinders for domestic consumption out of this 30 million 25.5 million is going for our domestic consumption that means the cylinders which are connected in the uh, homes that is going by about 25.5 million metric tons so much consumption about 85% so you can see we are the domestic consumers are the major consumers of lpg and the biggest customer for lpg what about others yes packed cylinders are used for industry also as you know in our domestic application we get cylinders in the range of 12 kg 14.2 kg and 15 kg and maybe smaller which have come recently in industrial application the cylinders are normally 19 kg 17 kg also from parallel marketers then 33 kg 47 kg 49 kg these are the sizes done by uh, other people so these cylinders are used uh, in industry these are the small industries and more than industry i will say they are like say uh, kitchens large kitchens restaurants and small scale industries which do not have uh, much consumption but they need lot of fuel and the basic difference between domestic and industrial consumer is in domestic cylinder you are allowed to install only one cylinder at a time okay normally one cylinder is sufficient for one month on an average whereas these other people the industrial use maybe they are consuming two to three cylinders also per day or even more 
and more cylinders are connected to the same manifold with this vot type of cylinder vapor offtake the vapor directly goes for consumption maybe eight cylinders 16 20 like that variety of combinations uh, depending on the consumption of the kitchen or the restaurant or whoever is using it as the consumption went on increasing in these industry also now the lot type of connections have come where the liquid comes out of the cylinder it's a special type of wall as you all know fitted on the cylinder liquid comes out and that liquid is evaporated using a vaporizer and then sent for consumption as you know lpg vapor can only burn liquid cannot burn liquid cannot burn means it's a most dangerous thing for a liquid to start burning and our burners are not meant for burning liquid they are suitable only for vapor what about the bulk consumption it's about 0.4 million tons 1.4 percent it means large industrial consumers who are storing lpg in tanks of various sizes maybe a small tank of 10 tons which is the smallest consumer and then there will be 100 ton tank 300 ton tanks and now even 600 ton tanks are being installed so what must be their consumption you can imagine i remember a plant in andhra pradesh where we had supplied vaporizers and some other equipment their peak consumption was 12 tons per hour they are steel tube manufacturers and when they started uh, the furnace was starting during the starting of the furnace for few hours the requirement used to be 12 tons per hour then it would slowly come down and stabilize at about six to seven tons per hour so you can imagine they had at that time 300 ton storage and they wanted to increase it further so you can imagine how big consumption can be there for large industries but there are smaller industrial consumers also for whom a 10 20 or 30 tank ton tank is sufficient and that they consume in say two weeks three weeks one month depending on their cycle what about number of distributors you know distributors are the people who finally reach the cylinder to our house the cylinder is filled maybe hundreds of kilometers away from our house somebody has to bring it so there is a agency system there are agencies in every town every city number of agents are there these agencies have a storage facility and all the technical know-how for what you can say as servicing the domestic consumers so there were about 10,000 such agencies or distributors in the year 2008 it went on increasing end of 23 it was 26,000 and they have a plan to increase it to about 38,000 that is what some of the report was saying that means you can again see what is the vast scope in this field number of road tanker this may be of say just uh, some interest 24,000 road tankers are hired by government agencies private agencies are again different so these road tankers are transporting lpg from the point of manufacturing maybe refinery or whatever gas gathering stations they have to bring it to the bottling plants originally bottling operation was being done only in the refineries but as the customer base spread hundreds of kilometers away from this then it was transporting an filled cylinder and transporting back empty cylinder which was becoming a very ineffective by cost uneconomical so small bottling plants started coming up in different towns by all the oil and manufacturing industries 
so everywhere you needed the bulk lpg to be transported to those bottling plants this is the job done by these people there were 24000 now it must be even more non domestic consumers non domestic customers means those who are using uh, say a small tank maybe 10 ton or whatever it is and uh, maybe these restaurants and other people are also considered as domestic uh, sorry non domestic consumers though they are using cylinders so there are 36 lakh such consumers in india presently so servicing of them is also done by distributors to some extent or in some cases the gas supply directly comes from the refinery number of bottling plants in india as on april 22 208 different different capacities i have seen plants where there were only say about 100 tons of storage capacity and uh, uh, they were filling only 800 900 cylinders per day there were some restrictions under the isd 149 at that time slowly those restrictions have gone and those plants have become now much bigger now number of plants have also increased since then total bottling plant capacity 22 million metric ton per hour upper uh, annum so many cylinders can be filled which will totally take about 22 million metric tons that means remaining is going by bulk consumers lpg sold by parallel marketers pmc this started from 1992 to 93 onwards and there are about Uh, the, the, their consumption is 1.58 million metric ton that means so many uh, private consumers uh, uh, so many private marketers are supplying gas to these people there are about 100 companies or even more than that i could remember only these few names but there are many other big companies Uh, having association with uh, international uh, oil companies also and there are many small companies who are doing such the activities here and uh, they have their own brand and distributors